I can feel the pool of the binding curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a moonful hind shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well, Cre... isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Hey, how's about a riddle to lighten the mood? What runs with no legs? Easy, I know. You'll have to try harder than that, bro. Just you wait, smart guy. Hmm. That's gonna need more magic than we got, Sonus. Come on, let's find a way forward. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. Falky! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for you. Not.
Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? Brother, do you really think she'll let us off the hook if you help her? I do not know. I choose to help. After that, we will see. Ah. A market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. Say good morning! <laughs> How much I like scrapping dirty. Boy, you don't miss a scrap of loot, dude. Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn hidden themselves out in the wilds and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? It's a shame. Bet this here would have made for a prime shop. Dwarves in Vanaheim? That would be something to see. Ever written poetry of your own, brother? No. Well, ask a stupid question. Bring it! 
Being here again's bringing back memories of that wedding of yours. Fancy folks and quality meats. Though I remember your brother stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand, Clem. <laughs> Plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. We hope you're up for it, Dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get with one's own kin. Sindri and I were on the out so long, it was like not having a brother at all. Now nah, I'd take some of the fall for that on account of you walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is you happen to find yourself talking to your brother. Maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough! When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I guess. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Fight me. You win. Oh. What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do four damage? Depends on the weapon. And the man. Sounds shiny. This river. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. Whoa! Huh. 
I'm right here, you bastard! Let's go already! You can't do anything with that yet, it seems. And you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours, big guy. Go. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. <laughs> Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Shit! What? We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. You sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Yngvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? 
from there. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Oh, can it, Blobber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. You can come and go between the realms whenever you please. You're very welcome. Oh, this here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my clunker head brother. Five million moonbeams. I didn't realize the Hulk brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me. <laughs> okay, well. Well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I'm gonna. That's Kratos. Though you can call him whatever pops into your head. Kratos, Lunda. We go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. I'll put some herd on him. Need something special? That'll keep your bits in all the right places. A good fit. Damn! Am I good or what? Fit. That ought to last you a little while. Ready when you are. No refunds. We wish this camp kept secret. Understood? I will not compromise it. No, we wouldn't dare. Good. Hello. Good. He's leaving. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, man. Yeah. His name is Kratos, and no, the Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos, as long as you're working for my sister, careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Hey, you're looking at it. What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Do you know their numbers? Oh, numbers, movements, outposts. We have good intel. 
I see. Well, let's have a look at the map then. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words if you would hear them. Speak them. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. An ancient!
I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs>
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, their guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is no peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Drea. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village. Their song makes their allies invulnerable. They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all. <laughs> At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this? <laughs> Oh! Ah! 
Huh! <laughs> 